You know, getting this uh, 1970 300 SEL 6.3 running again is going to be a real challenge, particularly with the fuel system. We're talking about gasoline that has sat in this car for 18 years. And if any of you have been around old gas, you know this stuff can be really nasty and it can leave behind a trail of tar and gum that you just can't believe. So it's not just a matter of draining the fuel tank and putting some new fuel in it. That might be okay with a car that sat for one or two years. Four, you know, three, four years, you're gonna to have to clean the fuel system, change the filters. But, but when you're talking over 15 years, you're talking a big challenge. And we're gonna do this right, you know. We're not just gonna to try to get it started. We're gonna go through the whole system, all the way up to the fuel injection pump and the injectors before we ever put the fire to this engine. Hopefully it'll run. On a side note, this engine was completely overhauled in 1995. That was one year before it was parked. And I looked down inside, you know, from the oil filler cap, and it doesn't look like there's any rust down inside the engine. So we're kind of crossing our fingers here, you know. This is going to be a little bit of a surprise as we move along here. But we removed the tank yesterday. Look at it. Look at the size. This tank here is out of a, a W108 six-cylinder. This tank, same body style, but this 6.3 tank is huge. And I knew right away, like I said in part one, I knew right away when I removed the cap after the car arrived here, and just looking at the cap, I said, uh-oh. And then, of course, looking down in the filler neck, it's just full of rust, just full of rust. And, you know, I got, I said, well, I, that's not too bad. Uh, you know, I can take this down to the local radiator repair shop and they can boil this thing out and then do a lining. Uh, you know, they can coat the inside to kind of seal the rust. And I was all scheduled to go in and have that done tomorrow. I started to take this fuel sending unit out and I started poking around here. I go, uh-oh, look at that. We have holes in the side of the tank. You know, it's rusted from the inside out from sitting all those years with moisture in the, in the tank. So. Unfortunately, without a lot, a lot of work, this tank is not repairable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this fuel tank, at least to get the engine running. Okay. This fuel tank is clean. It's not rusty. So that's going to be the first thing. Make sure we have a, a clean fuel tank. And then the next thing is we're going to have to make sure the fuel pump is working properly. And I think I kind of lucked out because when I pulled this fuel pump, I could tell by looking at it that this, this pump was probably replaced when the engine uh, was overhauled because this does not look like an original pump. And I took it apart and it was pretty gummy inside. You know, using brake cleaner and cleaning the parts inside, I was able to free this, this up. We pulled, we pulled, there's a screen right here, a finger screen, and over here on, on this there's a check valve. So each one of those screens of check valves were gummed up. I cleaned those up in brake cleaner. Amazing what brake cleaner did, by the way, to clean out this old gum and this old fuel. And all this time I had to work outside. And I even wore a paint respirator when I was draining the tank. And I would highly recommend it. It's a really, really obnoxious smell. So that we put the pump on the, on the 12 volts and it runs smooth. It's quiet. And so we, there's one score right there. We have a good working fuel pump. So the next step is going to be to tackle the fuel lines, okay? From the back all the way up to the fuel filter and then from the fuel filter up to the injection pump, we're gonna to have to flush those fuel lines. We're gonna to have to clean that fuel filter a canister and, and we'll go over a little bit as we open this up in part three, we'll go over how we're going to do that before we get up to the engine and, and, and tackle the fuel injector, pump the lines and the fuel injectors. But I just, in closing, I want, to, I want to show you, I just want to show you how bad um, this, this fuel can get. I mean, this is what dripped. This is like, look at this. This is like tar. This dripped out of the bottom of the tank when we were draining it. All the, all the hoses are rotten and, you know, every, everything rubber in the fuel system on this car is going to have to be replaced. So I'm, I'm finally glad, I'm getting close now. I don't even like to really stand around this tank. Um, we're just gonna set it aside somewhere where the smell won't get to us. But we're, we're gonna get this tank back in 
And in the process, we'll be cleaning out the fuel lines, and, and we'll go over that in the next part when we get back here and, and get this thing opened up and show you what we're actually doing.